Now, here's a story that is just amazing that nobody will tell you about. And if you people live in California, don't pay attention to this. You're out of your minds. So there is a proposed bill came up January 6th, last Thursday. The bill came into uh, Sacramento, the capital of California. Remember, there are 39 million Americans, citizens in California, another, I don't know, five or six million illegal aliens. So it's by far the most populated state. So the bill is called CalCare. And it says that the state of California will take over the entire health care system in, for every Californian, all 45 million people. OK, it's going to be a single payer, which means that your taxes are paid to Sacramento. And in return, you will get ready 24 hour emergency services, prescription drugs, all right, medical devices, mental health care. Reproductive maternity and newborn newborn care, that means babysitters and dentist stuff, all right, oral health, all paid for by Sacramento. And you, the citizen of California, you don't have to pay premiums, co-payments, deductibles, or anything. It's all free, but it's not free. So in order to pay for this, and California can't pay for it in their present structure, they have to raise taxes on everybody earning over a certain amount of money, say 80000 and all companies and corporations. And they have to raise taxes big. But even then, they've never come close to covering the cost. So they're going to have to seize private property in order to institute CalCare. And that's what this is all about. It's a socialist play to seize the property of Californians. Because if California can't pay for CalCare and it passes it, then its bond status goes to junk. Nobody will invest in the state. They'll get no money from anyone. And the whole state will go into bankruptcy. The only way you can fund this is to seize private property. Now, what do I mean by that? So say you have a $6 million home in California, which is not an astronomical price out there. Well, you would be taxed on the value of that home, not only locally for property taxes, which are capped, there'd be a state tax. Maybe it's 5%, maybe it's 3 whatever it may be, every year. So in order to live in that house, you'd have to pay a hefty amount of your money to Sacramento. Not only that, if you have stocks in your portfolio, including retirement accounts and college accounts, the value of those stocks, even though you didn't sell them, would be taxed, just like your home, right to Sacramento. That's what they want. That's socialism. The government controls the entire medical industry and takes your private property. They'd have to. They will. So if you live in California now and you have a good job and a nice home, Sacramento wants a piece of that for this cow care. Now, why will it pass? Because most people out of the 45 million, remember, illegal aliens will get all this. All of it, okay? Most people don't have a $6 million home or an $80,000 job. So they won't get taxed. And that's the majority of people. But this will destroy the financial infrastructure of the state, and you'll have a socialistic state. And believe me, New York, Illinois, Massachusetts, Oregon, Washington State, they'll follow. If this goes through, they'll follow the same blueprint. 